Hello, I'm doing a book review, and the book I want to review is Superman Time and Time Again. Now, this is a Superman story arc, obviously published by DC Comics between the years 1991 and 1992, and all the issues of this story arc were later collected into trade paperback in 1994. Now, some of the issues in here were written by Dan Jurgens, some of them were written by Roger Stern, and some were written by Jerry Ordway, I'm not sure if I'm saying his name right. Now, all three of these guys would do a lot of work on the Death of Superman story arc, and Roger Stern also wrote the Superman comic Superman for Earth, which I just recently did a review on. Now, what the plot of Time and Time Again is it follows somebody who calls himself the Linear Man, and he ends up in Metropolis in the 1990s, and he's going after a superhero called Booster Gold, who is a time-traveling superhero from the future. Now, the reason he's going after him is because he thinks that Booster Gold's presence in the 1990s is going to screw up the timeline. And during the Linear Man's battle with Gold, Superman intervenes, and then Superman is accidentally blasted through time. And basically throughout the story, Superman is being blasted to all these different time periods. Like at first he gets blasted all the way into the 30th century, then he gets blasted all the way to the 1940s, then he gets blasted into the far future again, then he gets blasted all the way back to the time of the dinosaurs, at a certain point he ends up in medieval times. But I thought Superman Time and Time Again was a very entertaining comic, and I definitely recommend it if you're a Superman fan, or if you're a fan of time travel stories. And this does play around with some interesting time travel tropes, like, there are definitely some paradoxes in here, like, Superman does do things in each of the timelines that he enters that should drastically alter the timeline, yet they really don't, so you get the idea, was he meant to be? there. Like, there's a scene in this comic where Superman is in the 1940s, and he stops an assassination attempt on FDR, but then it's like, okay, who saved FDR in the original timeline, or was Superman's presence in the 1940s altering the timeline already, or was he meant to be there? And then Superman meets the Spectre, who sends him to Nazi-occupied Poland, and he foils a Nazi plot to build an atomic bomb. But it's like, who foiled that plot in the original timeline? Or, once again, was he actually meant to be there? Spectre even says, it's your destiny to stop this. I also enjoyed the issue in here where Superman is transported to medieval times, and you see all these demons trying to get into King Arthur's castle, and it reminded me a lot of Army of Darkness. And Superman does briefly get possessed by demons at one point. I won't give away too much about what happens there, but you do see Edrican the demon in this particular issue. And then in the last two issues collected in here, you finally find out what the Linear Men are all about. But again, if you are a Superman fan, I would recommend giving this comic a read. But that was my review on Superman time and time again, and bye.